<laughs> Bruh. What's I don't know if you have, but we I gotta show you this video. I don't know if you've seen it yet. He dunks, don't we? But come on, I'm not paying a hundred dollars for a pair of black and white tennis shoes. <laughs> so I went and grabbed the ones from Walmart. <laughs> they look exactly the same. They just don't have a Nike sign. <laughs> well, whatever those. I don't know if they say Nike. I don't even know. But look at this. Bro, she tripping. Look at the logo. They're the and one brand. That's what they look like on the back. They're so stinking cute. $23. $23 for these. Of course they were. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so if you want... Welcome back to the Shoe Dog Podcast, episode 101. And today we're playing handball with some Walmart sneakers. <laughs> this is the handball ones, bro. Handball ones. <laughs> Guys, if you didn't see that, it we're just... You know what? Sometimes in the cost of living is really hard and it's really tough and you really want to get a sneaker that you like but you can't afford. I understand that. I do understand that. But sometimes you don't need to go to Walmart. Sometimes you need to go to the sale rack in your retailers and get the cheaper version or a sell sneaker because at the end of the day, guys, at the end of the day, you don't need Walmart ones. Like I say, guys, you don't need those. Is it Was it for Walmart? Yeah. Walmart, yeah. handball, one, panda, lows that don't have the swoosh guys <laughs> oh. yo this 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 lady really want us to go buy and one uh walmart dunks like these, these ain't dunks. the dunks these the these the layups right <laughs> these, <laughs> these the these, euro these steps are, right <laughs> yeah yo, yo these 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 the ones that don't belong to court ones you see what i'm saying <laughs> <laughs> yo man i don't know what i don't know what's up with her but uh more power to her man <laughs> yeah, she can have them. She can have them. Hey, man, introduce the show, please, bro. Please. Hey, like I said, welcome back to Shoe Dog Podcast episode 101. Oh, 102. Um, I just lost myself there like, slightly because I'm just still laughing at nothing. 102 with me and the bro, 808 Kicks ATL, with uh, basically go like, follow, subscribe. You got me off track today. Go for it, like, follow, subscribe. Go and chat to us. Come and chat to us. Let's have a conversation. Let's break it down. Go and listen to us on the audio platforms. Go and listen to us on the YouTube platforms. Go and listen to us on the social platforms. Just come listen to us. That's all I'm saying because we are growing and we are excelling. And this is episode 102. What we're here to do today, bro. What we're here to do, like every week we're here to do today, bro. Same thing we do every week. Try to take over the world. <laughs> One Walmart <laughs> sneaker at a time. One listener at a time. One listener at a time. <laughs> yo. Yo. We, I think we lost the one guy in South America. Why would you think? I did, he he ain't he ain't been listening. I watched. I oh, saw fine. the. Uh, I went and I went and checked on the demographics. It's largely U.S., largely U.K. Surprisingly, we got a uh, few people in uh, Australia too. But um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, South American and fell off, man. So no more shout outs to the one guy in South America. <laughs> nah, but, 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 we've doubled our audio viewers, uh, all your listenership, which is great. Uh, so shout out, shout out to the shoe dog army out there for, uh, keep representing, keep listening, keep uh, actually yes. rocking with us because that's what we love to see. Um, but yes, what, how was your week this week, bro? How was your epic week this week? Cause I got a story to tell you. I have a story to tell you, but I want to see, hear your stories first. It was it was just freezing. Let me hold on. I still got the uh, the Walmart Euro steps on screen. <laughs> <laughs> it's excuse me. It's been in the twenties all week, and it got down to the teens earlier this week. It was in the teens overnight. It's like twenty five degrees right now. <clears throat> excuse me. So um, I have not had the most enjoyable. Of weeks <laughs> at work, so uh, I'm happy to be in the house, pardon, right now. 
<laughs> yeah, I know, bro. Like it's been really cold in the UK here as well. It's literally got to the point where we're sitting like minus four, minus seven in London. Which, which, if you like, one thing I always kind of uh, hate is the Fahrenheit and the Fahrenheit and the Celsius discrepancies. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Because when when people say, oh yeah, twenty twenty degrees, but don't they don't realize it's Fahrenheit. You got to take all of those percentages off to get to Celsius, and all of a sudden it kind of hits the same. Yeah, it's cold. It's cold. It's getting cold. Bro. I looked at the world map, the world weather map, and the whole northern hemisphere was blue and green, and the whole southern hemisphere was red and orange and yellow. I'm like, bro, <laughs> I, I might need to move to South America to replace that one guy. <laughs> <laughs> the, the weather, the weather seems to be favoring the the bottom half of the planet, and uh, we up here on the north side of the planet. Looking crazy. I'm talking about, bro, it's record lows, bro, all over the, the world. Uh, it's yeah. ridiculous. Is, is it global warming or is it just uh, a phase in the weather? What's your story, bro? So my story, bro, yeah, basically I got on the train this week because I went to work for the first time in a couple of months because I had to go into work. And... Um, I was there. Uh, I got on the train, actually. You know how, you, you, as a sneaker guy, you check out people's sneakers. So I was standing on the train, and I had the What the Force, because obviously, what, what not the What the Force, the Winterized Force, because it's cold. You want to wear some Winterized Force. You're going to keep it. Fro- you're going to keep yourself warm, when you, especially when you're walking. Even though Jordan 4s are comfortable and, and kind of like really um, weatherproof anyway, because it keep you warm anyway. Um, but got on the train, right? And as soon as I got on the train... Uh, somebody came on and they were wearing, I don't know what they was, bro. They were, you can tell he was high end fashion guy, the high end fashion guy, right? And, um, <laughs> basically, um, he's wearing these, he wear, he's wearing these like almost like Balenciaga kind of triple S kind of vibes, but the outsole looked like a Yeezy, but you know how a Yeezy steps out, right? Yeah, yeah. Like it, but like foams out, yeah. like it steps out. Yo, this one steps out, steps out, then steps out again. It's almost like 50% of the sneakers stepped out from his, from his actual back. And I'm like, what? What are those? What are those? <laughs> Yo, that's, that's what you call a proper step out, step out sneaker, bro. Because like, if anybody's walking and they're not looking where you're going, I, you know what? One thing I would say about Yeezy and NMD is, even my missus says this, is when you're walking down the stairs, because your, your foot wants to naturally kind of hit the back of the stairs, right? Or come and just, just be a little bit fractioned back of the stairs because you want to have that security Man. walking down. Bro, imagine every time she wears an NMD, her, her foam and uh, the, the Yeezy Ultra Boots hits the back of the, back of the, um, stairs, so she has to take a wider step. Now imagine walking in that sneaker with um, walking down the stairs. You're falling down, bro. Like, how are you gauging where you're gonna step? That's a that's a mind complex. That's a that's a maze for your mind to walk down the stairs because you ain't you ain't, bro. You're falling down. You know we've seen that before, right? Yeah, yeah, of course we have. Offset was record. Uh, was it? I think it was Amigos. It might have been. Uh, they they might have still been together at the time. This was years ago. I remember them. I remember Offset in particular. All black, crazy looking, I guess, high fashion outfit and these ridiculous looking boots that, I mean, I would, I'd be embarrassed to walk on the moon in them boots. <laughs> they were so spaced out. You know what I'm saying? No. Yeah, yeah. And they, he was recording a music video and he stumbled and fell on some stairs that they were recording on because he had mm-hmm. them goofy boots on. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, it, I just, I, one thing I really, really don't like about the NMD and Yeezy range is basically the way it just literally step, the, the wedge at the back of the sneaker, which steps out. Like when you're walking, it's comfortable, it's super comfortable, right? But when it just steps out slightly, when you start sc- scratching the back of it or kind of trying to work out how you're going to walk down these steps, especially when the step is narrow, you're like, yo, yo, you got problems. You got to walk it sideways. You got to walk down it sideways. Otherwise, you off, you're back of the sleek sneaker hitting that you're missing the step and you're you're missing another step and all of a sudden you're flat on your flat on your face bro that's the situation you got with with some of these sneakers guys brands don't make the sneakers too wide because we just want comfortable sneakers but we don't no. want them like space age boots where you have to watch where you go and anybody that steps on it you're stepping on it and i was surprised that guy actually wore that sneaker if i'm honest really, really no, they want it that's 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 what they want that's what they want they buying it 
That's what they want. Yeah, yeah. You but, can't uh, say uh, also, we don't want it, sure, but they want it. Yeah. Also, one thing I also saw saw on socials today, right? Well, not today, this week. There was a um you know all those guys that the 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 um the interviews that you have on the streets and people go up to them and say, Yo, um, what's your, what you're wearing? Oh, I'm wearing twenty grand Balenciaga, twenty grand this, yeah, yeah. twenty grand that. I saw a really decent one actually. I saw one that was um this guy he was he was wearing a subtle flex. You could tell you could tell, but it was expensive. His Armani Armani belts and all that stuff. What he actually had on was a jacket, right? And it had Pokemon plushies all clipped on. So he had the, he had like a like a, almost like a varsity bomber jacket, and he had like these plushy dolls, right, clipped on, and he had like plushies. Pokemon plushies all the way through his jacket, and it probably it probably cost like he's talking about maybe. 10 grand because of the plushies but he pulled it all together it was kind of a flex i kind of thought that was a a semi-dope flex for what he did for the effort he put he didn't just go and buy the actual jackie he actually manufactured it to his style and it had all the pokemon plushies on it it's probably heavy as well (laughs) you're not impressed (laughs) i have to show you i have to show you outside the podcast (laughs) not at all that sounds ridiculous (laughs) It sounds like doing way too much. It, it sounds like you're starving for attention, and you 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 doing you just doing too much, bro. Bro, bro. So, sometimes way too you much. know, high, but high end fashion is all about starving for attention. Bro, I went to my uh, company party last night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I saw some styles. Um, some of my coworkers. Has had some different things going on, and it was great. Yep. Shout out to Julian. Um, I can't remember exactly where Julian is from. He's uh, Latino though, yep, and yep. Uh, he was rocking a Bad Bunny uh, sweat shirt, uh, all white. Okay. Shout out to Julian. Um, a lot of people had had uh, some nice styles going on, but my one coworker. Josh, Josh had this like uh, only way I can describe it is kind of like a Erica Badu, Andre three thousand, uh, like just a neo old school. Like he had a turban on and everything. I'm and I saw because I never seen him outside the job, but his his style what he had on last night matched his personality so much. So I can understand how maybe the dude with the Pokemon jacket is, you know, a wild and crazy guy. But yeah, yeah. It, it, there is such a thing as taking it too far. <laughs> you, know uh, you know what? You mentioned two key points there. Two key points. You're talking about taking it too far and you're talking about for, for attention. Well, we just, this is basically the start of what I'm going to actually introduce now. Bro, like... Is this this taking it too far? Like we're talking about Mr. West removing all his teeth and being a new, uh, new age James Bond villain. Because like, apparently, 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 allegedly the speculation is that he was removed, removed all his teeth and he's put this um, basically uh, 850k titanium dentures into his his mouth. That's a grill, bro. He ain't that crazy. (laughs) <laughs> I, I would I would like to hope so I would definitely like to hope so he's not that crazy because but like we don't know with Kanye West Tony I don't want to talk about him shout out to Toby New uh he got a Reebok grill <laughs> oh I dope. saw that as well I saw that as well <laughs> it's all about grills this week it's all about grills this week like it's, uh, apparently yo to, to, Toby New grill was actually dope I saw that after the podcast yeah. as well which was like, after the one on one podcast which is dope um, but yeah it's, it's been it's been such a crazy week it's been such a crazy week and loads of things have been happening loads of things have been dropping but um, oh, bro bro I came across one clip that I actually wanted to show you this week, right? And this clip was definitely something that, that you know, shout out to Daniel. Every week now, we always shout out to Daniel because, you know what? Mm-hmm. Daniel was one of, probably one of the best guests that we had last year. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, like, yeah. In, terms of, in terms of what we did. But, um, bro, shout out to Daniel because every time we talk about it, every time I see anything new that comes into this arena, I'm always like, yeah, th- this, is, this is something that we need to kind of showcase. Because, you know, when you talk about shopping with your mum, right? 
I don't know if you've seen this, but look at this. These are cute. Bob. Have a Every sneaker, every sneaker the mom picks up is a team tour. Okay. <laughs> it's 13 right now. Put it back. Go, go. Put it back. <laughs> Thought I was still for a reason. We need for Halloween or <laughs> the way he's the way he's putting that back, he's shaking that back sneaker back onto his position. Yo, so you know, I I love parents. I love mums. I love I love parents because basically they don't they think they're doing something really special for you. One one they actually kind of like say, oh, why don't you get this one? You get that. It's cheaper. But um, they don't understand the sense of the the fashion and the and the fact that guys and like sneakers want sneakers that are ret- reputable into the sneaker uh, realm like I'm talking about OGs and stuff like that right. like retros not not Team Jordans but talking about Team Jordans like I definitely would say looking at my TikTok and looking at the people that actually look at the, look at the TikTok a lot of casual heads are out there and guys I'm telling you right they are liking the Team Jordan MVP like I'm talking that MVP sneaker is like on my TikTok is getting so many hits so many hits people like I've got this one I've got that one I love this and I love that it's something this definitely something about casual heads that is totally different to our sneaker heads yeah that, and see that's why we have to make the distinction bro I always put emphasis on making the distinction between us and them and it's not a yeah. negative thing you know what I'm saying it's a it's a cultural thing. It's a hobbyist thing. It's a yeah. enthusiasm thing. Like the stuff that we, the time that we put into knowing and finding out and, and uh, you know, networking and uh, research and copying and picking up and, uh, you know, giving assists, like all that stuff. It's the part that they don't have nothing to do with. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they just walk in the store and they, it, it, people can like shoes, bro. That don't yeah. make you a sneakerhead. And not that's not where not the, the argument come in with when we're trying to define what is a sneakerhead. Like, a thing I've been thinking about a lot lately is what's a sneakerhead sneaker? You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Not every re- retro is a sneakerhead sneaker. No, no, no. Like, like I would say, the Crimson Force are, aren't a sneakerhead sneaker, in my personal opinion, because that that was more geared to the younger heads. In, in terms of the old heads, like I think, I think even even in the sneaker realm, you got your casual heads, you got sneaker heads, you got hype beasts, and you got the different variants of that as well. Because you you had your you had your um, what you got Matrix up there a couple of years back with all the spectrums of what what kind of sneaker heads that you are. Like, I, and I do, I, I think we need to bring that back again. But basically, um, th- there are there are different realms the spectrums all, all the way through that and I, I find like it's really hard for the brands to kind of now I understand it a bit more when I step out of it but it's really hard for the brands to actually kind of analyze where their sale is going to be especially when it comes with to retros and OGs like do how do they kind of appeal to the casual heads because when you when you when you really have a look at it the casual heads are going for the mvps the jordan mvps because they're 145 pounds but but also because they drop under 100 pounds when it goes on sale and they look at it and so oh, you know what it's the same thing they look at the colorways they look at the model they look at the make and it and it's appealing to them because they're like i can get it cheaper from the LeBron, i can get it cheaper than the jordan one which is literally come out this week which is 175 pounds why well, wouldn't yeah. i exactly <laughs> and I, this is this is why i want to show you that video as well because that video is quite funny um like parents are like par- old like older parents are like younger sneak kids to me because they don't know any better but they'll pick up anything they like and they think they'll you like as well and sometimes casual sneak heads do that they'll pick up stuff that they think is appealing to the current trend uh that's that's hard to gauge from the outside looking in i learned that you know on my way in, <clears throat> I think a lot of us do as well. And unless you came from a certain era where um where the where where the difference I think the difference was uh more defined years ago. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Um I do believe because I got no non sneakerhead sneakers in my collection, and I know you do too. Mm-hmm. And there are some people that have three or four shoes but they somehow got a Kobe Grinch yeah or, yeah but maybe it's because they love Kobe that much they just a Kobe fan they're not a sneakerhead 
You know, yeah. there there are people out here that have um, all the pennies. They're yeah, not yeah. a sneakerhead. They're a Penny Hardaway stand. Yeah, you yeah. know what I'm saying. So but, it's variations. It's variations in and out the culture where <laughs> it makes it hard. That's where the gray area come in, and it makes it hard to say what's yeah. a sneakerhead for real. Sometimes, yeah. Uh, to, to be honest, even even when I look at my rotation and when I look at your rotation, um, and when I look at other people's rotation, some people just like like Reeboks, or some people just like Jordans, or some people just like Adidas's, or, or some people pick up everything, or some people pick up variations of everything. So that, that there is there is so many dynamics to it. Like I would just say, don't like go by other people's dynamics. Just love what you love. And bro, like, every yeah. time I say this, every time I say this, bro, it always comes back to what you put in your, your videos. Like what you like, rock what you like. Because you, nobody can tell you how to be yourself. Nobody can tell you how to be a sneakerhead, and nobody can tell you how to be a you, a you as a person. Just be you. Just, but don't don't go by anybody's gatekeeping. Don't go by anybody's the way they talk about. Oh, you need to buy this, or you need to buy that, or you're not a real sneakerhead if you don't buy this, or if you don't have that in your rotation. No, 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 no. You're a real sneakerhead even if you buy a pair of like I'm talking about having ma- mass pairs. Buy anything you like. Buy anything you like, rock it, anything you like. Be yourself and flex yourself. That's what it's about. Yeah. And see, I, personally, I want the uh, distinction to be made clear just for myself because a lot of times when I express my feelings on sneakers, it's coming from a sneakerhead standpoint. It's not mm-hmm. – It's there's a heavy bias on a lot of my opinions when it comes to, um, you know, colorways and silhouettes and whatnot. So yeah, I don't yeah, want yeah. I don't want people to misinterpret me saying it's trash. Like that's you shouldn't buy that shoe. If you like it, buy it. Buy yeah. what you like. Um, the words are buy what you like. What you like. What you like. What you like. like. <laughs> Ex- <laughs> so. exact, exactly that. So, but the thing is, like from from my from my experience, it's just like there's a lot there's a lot of people like trying to gatekeep and all of that stuff. But I'm like, nah, just rock what you like, buy what you like. No, it's not all this, about. This it's all all, this ain't gatekeeping, bro. What we doing? What we 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 having passionate conversations about the things that we take interest in. So Exactly. By the way, by the way, today today you are then I'm not missing this one today this week, but I'm not missing one this one this week. Cause I, I missed one I, right there two hours later last week I was calling you Wesley uh, co- was it Wesley Wesley Hype. Wesley Hype. Today you <laughs> yeah, today, today you're Denzel Coppington and today I'm uh, today I'm Mr. Uh, Mr. Dramas. That means I'm taking every shot and missing every fish in that barrel. See what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you crazy, man. Okay, okay, okay. That's a that's a great segue. We talk about shooting in a barrel, right? Yeah. Uh, first quick strike. Please first press the quick button, stri- sir. <laughs> there you Make go, it bro. Official. Make it official. First quick strike. Your guy, your My favorite guy. designer that you love so much. You always oh, tell you. me off air how much you love Edison Chin and everything <laughs> that he's doing with Adidas. That's what you said. I didn't I'm say everything. I'm holding you to that. Yo, yo, bro, 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 bro. <laughs> don't, 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 be, don't, don't, throw, don't throw claims that, that, that don't exist here, bro. I just say, I just said Edison Chan's Nikes were dope because obviously they were peel away. They were, the design on that, ch- the clock was absolutely dope. I love the aesthetics on that. The Air Force One, the actual Jordan 1 mid that he did. There's a lot. The Edison Chan did a lot. And all the videos that he did for, like, for Air Force Ones when he burnt away the upper to reel the, the seg- segment on the other panel or the, and the lower panel it was dope. I, I enjoyed it. I feel, I thought it was, I thought it was a good kind of, um, Take into his collaboration, but I'm not saying I haven't seen anything Edison Chan added us at all, bro. So I, I'm not I'm not claiming anything to that, bro. You told me you love this clot shell toe. I didn't say that. That's what you said. When did I say that? When That's did I say said. that? Okay, cool. All right, let's rock with that and go on. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> no, okay, okay, okay. You didn't let's say rock it, with that. and I'm I'm glad you didn't say it because this is this is a monstrosity right here. I don't know what Mr. Chan was thinking when he left Nike. Apparently, he was thinking the same thing when he made this chimera amalgamation of a... uh, It looked like a shell toe on top, a a work shoe in the middle, and some coal huns on the bottom. Like, what? I mean... (sighs) This is a waste of material, man. Go ahead, man. 
<laughs> oh man, um, that, that I don't understand the wedge, uh, wedge uh, outer. Uh, I like the uppers, uh, but more like black and white theme coming to the for to the uppers. Uh, what's the official name to this? The, the Chimera, yeah? Trash. Uh, the the <laughs> plot Adidas Superstar Cloud White. So, uh, okay. don't do no more colors. Go ahead, man. I'm stepping. I'm stepping on your time. I'm sorry. No, 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 no. You're not stepping on my time. You're expressing your uh, disappointment on what Eddie said. Bro, why, why, um, why, why would he? Uh, I gotta take. Go ahead, bro. Go ahead. Bro. <laughs> um, this goes back to what we always talk about, bro. It's it's the silhouettes rather than the collaborations. I like Sean Wotherspoon. Um, arguably his best collaboration was the 97 if Air Max 1 right that's not arguable that's a fact that, no okay cool that's a fa- okay let's just say that's a fact right that's his best <laughs> collaboration fact. right right and then you like bro it see- got tassels it got tassels on the front bro oh my god <laughs> All right. Um, you could uh, hopefully you can remove them. Um, but basically, uh, I'm I'm just saying each to their own, bro. Like, uh, is it is it because of creative freedom that they want to go there, or is it because of the silhouettes? I don't know. Like, I don't know what why like they why they want to leave Nike. I think like, maybe they want to explore other brands. I don't know. Is it? It's just do you want it in in your CV in your repertoire that you've actually got different brands and your name that you collab with? I don't know. I don't know, bro. I don't know, bro. That, that that's that's not the best um, iteration of a clock I've seen. Let's just be honest. Let's just be truly honest. Um, it definitely uh, looks like Shelters. Uh, it definitely looks like Sambas and Superstars and and the, all of the all of that stuff is is what Nike is leaning to this year as well with the Fear of God collaboration. It does definitely seem like that way. Adidas, um, you said Nike. I, I mean, I did. Sorry, sorry, Adidas. Sorry. Um, but to be honest, uh, Nike is pre- pre- releasing some Corteses as well, so they they kind of semi kind of paying attention been, to that. I know they brought know Cortez they back a couple of years they, in they, the they, Union they, and all that. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. But um, because, like, I saw a all green Cortez that reminded me of the Gotham uh, Jordan airships as well, uh, which was quite kind of dope. Uh, I think I said that. Did we as get well. a green airship, uh, a green uh, Cortez last year or the year before? Um, maybe, no, it was white maybe. and green. Was it, was it green this, and white? You talking this, this about the suede one, right? Yeah, this one's pure green. This one's pure green with a, with with a, with a suede on it. Um, but we it got looks a gun bottom. Yep, looks... yep, yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I know what Is you're talking about. I think. I think I sent it to you, but I, I do. I do think like I do think people are starting to move maneuver to sh- shelters a bit more, and this is this is probably because of what um, because of what uh, Nike's put together with the union, and I think I think the union Cortez was a bit too early for its own uh, its own good. So maybe if they released it this year or this coming mm. year, it would have been it done, it done slightly better than it did, maybe potentially. But um, I, I don't I, I don't I don't see the. I don't see the correlation between Shell Toes and Cortez. Like I get it from a, a, yeah. a era from a perspective. Head. Yeah, but from the casual head, if you're looking at, but if you're looking at Samba or a campus, and you're looking at a, um, if you're I looking at a, like a Cortez, Shell Shell Toes. I don't know. I don't know how you figure Shell Toes making a, a comeback because I ain't seeing them. No, I used not, to. We no, used I, to see. I, I used to see Shell Toes on a regular basis. It's been years. Since people was really, really, I think Boost kind of killed the shell toe. Really? Yeah. Okay. Maybe that, yeah. that's a good. That's a good. I shot. think that's I think Adidas shot. drove people away from the shell toe with the new technology. Okay, because it's more, it's way more comfortable. It's way more comfortable in terms of uh, the Ultra Boost, um, but. Like I, I look at the Kendrick uh, Cortez, and uh, that that did that did well for what it was, but it didn't do well commercially in terms of the mainstream. Um, in in terms of sneakerheads, it did well, um, but in terms of the mainstream, it didn't do well. Um, but it will be interesting to see what happens with like the Cortez and the Sambas and the, and the, all of that, and the superstars and stuff like that. I want to I want to see I want to keep an eye on that because it might be something that actually predominantly gets bigger and bigger and bigger during the year. But it will be good to see what happens with that whole um, whole sneaker realm. Yeah, man. Uh, but these 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 are a whole another wave. That, uh, 
I'm not riding with. You you know what? The, the, those the those Reebok classics come with that out out that wedge on the out uh, outsole. The Reebok wedge. classics. You know the you know the traction on the outsole on that on that um uh clock. Yeah, I think I think they did do something like that too. Yeah, yeah, I remember Reebok doing something like that. But like I think I, because Adidas owned Reebok for quite a while, they still take some of that tech away and use it. Possibly. Yeah. Okay, let's move on to the next quick strike, bro. I am so excited for this Union Field General. I need it. It's a turf shoe, so I'm not sure how it's going to wear, but I want to find out. I don't know why they do what they're doing is the field general as a silhouette has never returned. Yeah. Um, but union picking the field general and doing it the way they've done it with this brown and tan with the red um, union, a yellow union tag, probably yellow laces come with them too. Yellow, uh, they got I, some, I, yellow some, laces uh, on top of that. Yeah. They got some, some, uh, Red laces too, but maybe not so much. Maybe not so much as the yellow. But um, uh, the zigzag exposed stitching and and I mean the suede quality on these looking nice. The outsole is just the outsole is the only issue. How is it gonna wear? Is it gonna make noise when you're on hard surfaces? Yeah, it it will. It will. Stiff. You know what I'm saying? It looks. It looks very. It looks very tactile. It looks like a sneaker that when if you step out, it's gonna be a very a sneaker that makes noise when you walk, especially on hard surfaces. Yeah, of course it is. Because if you wear studs on on hard ground, you're gonna hear that click, 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 click all the time. Yeah. So you, you're gonna see the same. But it might have some compression because obviously it kind of does have it's rubber rather than the cleats that we get. Um, I, I saw maybe this, they changed this, it. Hopefully yeah. they changed it. But I I saw this the other day and I liked them. I it, it, I liked them quite a bit to be honest. I I feel I feel like it's a very good soul silhouette. I do. It reminds me of a bit of a trainerish vibe to it as well. Very like sportswear. It's good. I love it. Yeah, they're pretty much trainerized the field general. I mean, as you can see, yeah. the OG field general it maintains the the same shape. I mean, it's classic Nike. You know, paneling with the overlays. Is meshed out obviously because um, you out there running around, you, you need vent- ventilation. But mm-hmm. Union just they flipped it, bro, and they flip. I just love the way they flipped it. Yeah, um, I love the material blocking on this as well. It reminds like we just talked about. It reminds me of the Cortez um, Union because basically they flipped all the materials on that as well, and they gave it different colors, different materials, different or vibes to that sneaker. Like it was, it's so different. That it was so good, and I think they've done the same thing with this Field General. Like you can see the underlays have got this mesh, mesh kind of look to it, which is similar to the Field General and the OG Field General. It's got a suede on it as well. It, it looks totally different, but it looks very unique um, in the set in the same um, breath, but. It is it is dope? I want to see. I want to see more of it in hand um, and, and judge it. I, this is another sneaker. Obviously, not a lot of people, lot of, lot of people going to gravitate to anyway because it's, it's another a sneaker that's taken out the vault and unions and the collaboration with it. But um, it's good. It's, it does. It, it doesn't. To me, if a sneaker doesn't sell out, it doesn't mean it's not bad. It's not. It's not. No. It's not. It's not bad if it doesn't sell out. It's still a great like design. And a lot of people like won't rotate to this. But I love. For me personally, I love the designs and complexities of a sneaker when it comes to different materials, different vibes, different structures, different. Like this is this is why I think that's a dope sneaker. Yeah, I'm trying to come to terms with the fact that I think it's going to be hard to get. But really, yeah, I I want to say it's gonna be hard to get because it's a first retro and a collab. You know what I'm saying? I so don't I think, think it's gonna be hard to get. I think collectors are going gonna think about the fact that it's never retro. Yep, and Union is doing it. I mean, that's how I feel about it. So I'm I'm pretty much projecting my thoughts on everybody else. So I'm gonna act like. It's gonna sell out when it, when it's time to cop. Um, po- possibly, but depending I, I, I depending think... on what's coming out around it. 
Yeah, it's it's like a what do you call it a release a release album. You don't know what's going to come around it. If if a Travis hits around it and it, like last November, bro, if, if if you get like a million sneakers in one month, then it obviously ain't gonna do well. But if you get that sneaker, maybe people think you know what, there's not much coming out, and we'll cop this. Um, I'll cop this because this is the first time it's really retro or is like the first time it's come out. And yeah, let's just go and see how it is. But um. I, I just feel like the colorway, the materials, and it's too, it's very similar to the Cortez, like Union. Uh, I just feel like people Cortez. will stay away from it. Cortez, sorry, Cortez. Uh, Cortez, Cortez. Sorry. So, any, any, uh, I think a lot of people will stay away from that, um, especially in the UK. Uh, but I, I hope it does well. I do, I do hope it does well. I mean, we'll see. Because they're going to do it, if, if they do it the way they did with the, uh, the ones, the copying process is going to be smooth. So if it's going to go, it's going to go fast. If not, it'll be available. Just like the one yeah, yeah, yeah. for a little while. It, exactly. Even your bro, uh, I was thinking the other day, you know, the union ones, um, the price, the resale price isn't much on the union ones. Um, but I was thinking about picking up another pair, possibly June, mid, mid, mid year this year and maybe doing a custom on it, like change the colors on that union and change the colors on that actual, um, what you call it, footscape and give it some, give it something different. I, I, I think, I think I know what way I'm leaning towards, but I need to kind of put a, a kind of Photoshop of it. And in my mind, to see if it, if it's going to look good, good in terms of my visualization into into an actual real like uh, version of it. But um, I just I, the thing is, I love the fact that it's it's quite low, um, and you can get it for like retail at the at this moment in time because it's great. That that that's that's epic, and it just leaves customizers in that realm of picking it up and just doing what they want with it, which is great, which is absolutely great. I'm so you, I'm thinking about it. You thinking because the ones didn't do well. That's going to transfer over to the field general. No, 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 no. I'm not even thinking that. I'm not even thinking okay. that. Every, every sneaker is independent. Every sneaker is independent from now. Like, uh, I'm not relating one sneaker release to another sneaker release. We see, we've see seen the disparity between like a Amamania Jordan 12 and a, and a, like Amamania Jordan 5. Like, the, right. the Jordan 5, the Jordan 5 is doing way better than Amamania 12 ever did. The Amamania 12 is going under retail. I just copped the, the black variation of Amamania 12 under retail, bro. Like 30, 40 quid under retail. So there's no, there's no, there's no link to him. But I'm just, I'm just saying, like this Union One, is is going for retail. So I might pick up another variation, and I might kind of um, do a custom to it. So keep in tune for that, guys. If I do kind of pull the trigger and see what I come up with. But um, yeah, it's interesting. It's very interesting to see. Uh, Feel general. Let's just see what it does. Uh, do you know what the release date on that is? Mm-mm. I don't think it's coming anytime soon. So um, maybe time. it'll be full time. Yeah, summer, fall, uh, maybe going into the next football season. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's move on to the next quick strike. And you're liking this quick strike, guys. You're gonna like. Well, QZ on definitely like this quick strike. <laughs> <laughs> I know because I saw it this week, and I was like, "Yeah, Q's got this." <laughs> yes. Um, we heard rumors earlier last year when Dion uh went to Colorado and Nike uh Nike is a Colorado sponsor the Colorado uh sponsor for uh the athletics so um Dion started wearing Nike he, he had to wear Nike instead of Under yeah. Armour um, no no no, and then no, 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 they, no. They, let, let, let's let's let's, re- let's rephrase that no he had to wear Nike he wanted to wear Nikes <laughs> no 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 he had to yeah, he had to because because you can't be a part of that program and not wear Nike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So oh, he this, was, oh yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. I I, got, I I literally got confused. He didn't he didn't have a Nike sponsorship. Um, no, he wasn't. He linked left to Nike. Nike, but he, he left Nike, but he had to wear Nikes because of the program. Yeah, yeah I got that. I got that. Yeah, yeah. And see, back to last week for a second. Dion is one of the few people that left Nike that I didn't have a problem with because he was still Deion Sanders. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And I love him and his association with Nike. So I could still love both separate. But the fact that he's back with Nike and he's showing us prototypes right here, these hot off the presses 
He had the Nike guy. Um, y'all can go check on Complex, Nice Kicks, Sneaker New. Everybody posted the video of the Nike guy bringing him a bunch of the cleats, but he also brought, y'all ready? Diamond yeah. Turf 96 Black and White. <laughs> I saw that as well. I definitely saw With that as well. With the new. Um, the prime logo on the heel tab, the pull tab, and uh, the old logo, the old diamond turf with the the baseball diamond and the football goalposts back on the front. <sighs> Whatever's coming out around these Dion's won't get caught by me. Why? When these Dion's come. Is main focus full speed ahead on diamond turfs, one hundred percent, bro. Don't don't oh, yeah. don't let them bring back the diamond turf one. Diamond turf twos, I'm cool on them. Diamond turf ones and diamond turf max ninety six. Let's go, OG colorways. <laughs> let's let's get it. Let's get it. Yeah. I I um I'm still. You know what. I'm I'm happy. At, oh, okay, cool. I got two things. I'm happy and I'm disappointed at the same time, right? I'm happy that Soulfly Eights came out and they came out with a Mikasa Sukasa, um, and it was dedicated to Miami and Cuba, and it was dedicated. And most of the sneaker, if you didn't see the review, I'm going to tell you, it, the most of the sneakers dedicated to like the reason why the color is like opaque white ivory is because of the baseball lines in in the actual baseball like the, the diamond in the baseball so they use the colorway and they represent the team as well it's another team that they represent to actually pull that sneaker to put a lot of cuban flair to that and i love that and i love that a lot right that, that sneaker is absolutely dope super dope sneaker from from the off bat i loved it when i saw it i loved it but there was one sneaker sample that they pulled out midway last year and i can't get away from it it's that diamond turf Jordan 8 and the the sample now the sample was like a navy blue sample but it looked like the playoff 8 that I understand now they were going to do a full Cuban infused colorway on the Jordan 8 with a diamond turf because that's why they had the navy blue on it and this is why obviously if you know the Cuban flag it has the colorways on it so I think they were going to pull that onto the Jordan 8 I hope they still do that I hope they do that when Dion Sanders actually comes out with more retros and they release it later on this year or next year because that sample is still to this day. I would love to see that release. Like like other sneakers, I would love to see release. That was a great, great sample, bro. Wait a minute. You figured it out, bro. What, what, what have I figured out? If I'm not mistaken, there's a diamond turf one yeah. with a baseball colorway. It's blue, white, and red with pinstripes. Yep. If I'm not um, mistaken. I, I pull it pull it up. But yeah, I, I do hope they release that eight. Like I, I you know what? I, I I'm I'm falling more and more in love with Jordan Eights. The more the more I pick them up. Like I, I have this I've had I've got the uh, what do you call it? Um, MJ champagnes. I've got the I haven't got the confetti's. I've got the taxis. I've got the soulfly eights. I've got the Subaru eights. I'm I'm just waiting for more eights. Um, I want I want well I've got playoff eights as well. Now I'm waiting for more eights, bro. Like I, I, I truly believe that sneaker is such a gorgeous sneaker on feet as well. Absolutely bro, dope on feet. I'm I'm really tripping. See this this will let this this will let y'all know I be telling the truth. Like if y'all didn't heard my story, at a certain point in my life, everything was about music. So yeah. I wouldn't participate in the sneaker culture, and this totally went under the radar. This is the Diamond Turf Atlanta Braves. Yeah, how could I miss? The Diamond Turf Atlanta Braves, and 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 bro, see 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 that sneaker. No, see, I, I that saw this. Like I Jordan. saw this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I that saw this. Like the, the first time I saw it, I didn't like it, but I really? didn't realize it was a Braves theme shoe. Now I like it just because it's Braves theme. You see how? <laughs> see how? <laughs> you know what? You know what? Let me let me let me let me switch that opinion just a little bit. Now I want it because it's Braves theme. 
I, and if you if you see this mock-up, go go and check out the what do you call it? The Diamond Turf. Yeah, Diamond Turf One, Atlanta Braves. Yeah, go and check that out because if you look at that and if you look at the sample for the Soulfly Eight, it looks very similar. Even the cutout from the actual strap over it is exactly the same as the strap strap for the Jordan Eight. Um, mm-hmm. So yeah, so um, I, that that colorway goes really well with the, with the theme. I hope they release that. I do hope they release that. That is, there's some samples that, that they, there are definitely some samples that you would love to see released. Like the like we keep talking about the DJ Khaled Jordan Fives that ain't released, bro. Some of those colorways are so dope. I hope they release those. I hope they release the Jordan Eights. Um, Soulfly's uh, diamond and turfs as well because like when I read when I read the mock-ups and no, not read mock-ups when I read the synopsis on, on Azure 8 and when I do a review I always go and read up uh, or stuff about it just in case I miss something but when I read that and when I see the transition between the Soulfly Jordan 8 and the actual Diamond Turf Jordan 8 that was supposed to come out I can see the reason why they changed the colorway and I can see the reason why they actually switched it up but it doesn't mean the switch up isn't good because it's beautiful but it doesn't it doesn't mean the, the sample that they didn't release isn't beautiful as well like like sneakers bro we want everything literally everything yeah i like like i said i like the lows better on the white version but the blue version i do feel like it's the better colorway yeah but, yeah, um, yeah it's I, it's just too much white i could i could take that much white on a low you know you know what you know what you say have you seen have you seen the soul flights in hand no all right cool it's not white it's not white. When you get it in hand, it's totally different. It's totally different. It, yeah, it's like it, on, on camera, on camera, it looks all white, but the, the suede around the toe is like this ivory white, right? Or this, uh, like almost like this gray ivory white. But the paneling that goes into the actual overlay to the uppers uh, at the back end is like this almost sailed out yellow. Um, and you can't see it in camera, but you can see it in real life. You can actually see the color differences. And the mesh on the lateral side is the same color as, as the uppers. And the canvas on the inner side is the, is more of that ivory color from the toe. It looks totally different in hand. So it's not white. It, you in the camera it looks totally white because it's quite hard to kind of detail that but when you actually have a look at it in hand it's totally different it's such a beautiful sneaker it's totally different yeah had had they not um did that the bullshit on the release i would have saw my hand but yeah. <laughs> i know bro <laughs> i know bro all right next quick fight bro <laughs> oh, man, oh, bro. sometimes it is what it is it is ain't it uh <laughs> Yeah, yo, let's let's yo, let's yo. talk about I'm on my ear. Deja vu. <laughs> See, this this is why we we always tell y'all don't put too much faith in these mockups, especially yeah, when yeah. we're talking about collabs. <laughs> if, bruh, James Whitner is gonna always get caught wearing the next release. Yeah, every time yeah, yeah. every he time we see it it's on his foot first yeah. not the mock-ups not the fakes the actual product that we're more than likely going to receive will be seen first on his foot i don't know what color these are the, these are these are like a, they uh, look so sale people... right they pinkish yeah. though yeah they they they're like a it's what a lot of people were um I'm going to be honest. A lot of people were at James Whitner for this because they saw, they thought there was this violet ores bleached out. They literally were putting bleached out cans next to this violet ore and say it looks bleached out. I I think it's a... It looks suede uppers. It looks like a suede upper, right? From afar. I don't, I, if you, I don't know if you can zoom into that picture, but the, the Aminio Jordan 4 looks like it's a bit of a suede upper on it. Um, and it looks like it's more of a bleached violet ore than it is the, the actual colorway that we saw. Like, remember the mock up that we saw before the Jordan 4 Aminio release that they, they thought it was going to be this sell without variation. They thought it's going to be like the Aminio Jordan 3 on Aminio Jordan 4. That's the closest we got to this. Um, it does look, it does, from what I'm seeing, I, I'm speculating here, mass speculation, looks like suede upper, looks like brown, uh, brown midsole, um, in terms of, uh, the, the detailing on the midsole. It looks like it's got sailed midsole, predominantly sailed midsole. Outsole looks like it's brown and sail. Uh, it looks like it's got a translucent tab, just like the denim freeze. 
um, and even the Balvins freeze that we got. And you can see A on it. You can see, obviously, I'm a manure on it on, the, on one pad. But, bro, like, it's it's unique. It's different. It's very different. Very different to what we got. And it's very different to the sample mock-ups, UAs that people were releasing that look like the Jordan 3 and Manure. Thank you. A little off. I think this is more similar to the Violet Ores yeah. than you think it is. I that don't look like brown to me. It looked like burgundy, the same color burgundy on the midsole and the outsole. Maybe it's it, it, bro. It's really hard to tell with pictures. Really, really hard to tell with a picture. So this is yeah. why I'm speculating. I mean, good job, whoever caught this picture, but um. Uh, no, 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 bro. It was done on purpose. It was done on purpose. Definitely done on purpose. It, it, he you wore know why I said purpose. deja vu? Hey, he wore on purpose. Is it, you know why I said deja vu? If we saw the dusks way, way before, like he did the same yeah. thing with the Jordan Five dusks. It's he like another deja vu. Too. Did he? I didn't know about it. Yeah. I, I he wore them. Right. He wore them on complex on on their show. <laughs> Okay, cool, 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 cool. So yeah, so there you go, bro. He, and what the time scales are is because this is probably going to come out in summertime. Mm. It, it, it takes, it takes, bro. It takes a couple of months before he releases. Before he puts them on feet and he releases. This is like a promo. It's like a trailer. It's J- this is James Whitten a trailer. Because the timing is always off. Like we saw the fives a lot further off than we got them. Then. Uh, no, I think, I th- I think. No, I no, think no, no. I'm sorry. F- I'm saying that. I'm saying that the other way around. We got yeah, the twelves yeah, yeah. further off than yeah. because the fours the, came the out before the twelves. Yeah, yeah. Um, so. with the fives, with the fives, you saw the fives with the with the dusk with James Whitney wearing the Jordan five dusk. We saw that in it was still maybe months, September. Though. Yeah, it was, yeah. It, was, it was September time that we saw it, but they released it in December time. So, so you talk about no, a couple it was of months. Before that. That. No, I think I think it was August, September time, late August, um, uh, early September time, if I if I remember oh, no. rightly. We ain't got to argue yeah. semantics on this. Uh, as as far as what they looking like from a distance, uh, I'm kind of on board right now. I I do want to see more detailed pictures, you know, better pictures, but I'm kind of I'm I'm about fifty sixty percent on board with these. I'm I'm reserving my judgment. You know why? Because um, I'm going to reserve my judgment till I see better pictures. We, we same thing happened with the same thing happened with the dust beer. When when people saw the dust beer, people were like, "Nah, it's not it's not that great. It's just black." Uh, blah 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 blah. And all of a sudden, when we saw more pictures of them, and people they were like, wrong. "Oh yeah, I want them." Yeah, and and wrong. what happened? A lot, a lot. <laughs> that sneaker went to a lot of people's sneaker of the year. So I'm gonna everything now. I'm gonna reserve judgment, bro. Like every every mock up now, I'm gonna reserve judgment. Like hundred percent. Like I want my dust. Yesterday, my sneaker of the year. Yesterday, yeah, exactly, bro. Um, there was another, there was a mock up that came up from I think Z Sneakerhead, right? And um, a lot of people started bashing it, and um, I was like, it was a Jordan Five as well. A lot of people started bashing it, and I was like, this is just a mock up. Just wait for the real. F- Have a look at the real thing. You you you're bashing you're bashing a sneaker that don't even exist. Did, you didn't get any comments, did you? No, no, no. I often say, boy, don't 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 waste your time with them crazies. No, no, no. I I, <laughs> I look at it. I know, look, me, me, me. So I look, read, and laugh, and move on. And um, I was like, it's it's not even worth. It's not even worth. You know what? My you, my mom says. My mom says the best thing, right? And she she goes, never take somebody's insults to heart, right? And never like never uh, address a situation because when people bark at something, you don't listen. They just bark it at themselves. So when you when you read when I read comments and when I read stuff like that, I don't respond. Even negative comments, I don't respond because I, I don't care. I know what I'm doing. I know I know the situation. I read, laugh, and move on. And um, in that way. They just talk to themselves. You see, if you're swearing at, if you're swearing at me and I'm not listening to it, you're just rebounding and hit yourself. You're just talking to yourself. You're, you're talking nonsense to yourself. So in, in those situations, my mom's best saying I ever heard, right, is like, don't ignore, ignore people like that. Just, just it, whatever they shout goes back on them. Don't worry. So that, that's why I don't respond to stuff like that ever. Meanwhile, we, <laughs> Meanwhile. Need, no mock, we need no mock up of these. Uh, yeah. go, I'm a money here. Air Max 95. 
I kept saying I'm on my year and then I would correct myself and say social status because normally social status does the Nike collabs and yeah. I'm on my year does the Jordan collabs, but they didn't switch it up. Um, whew, I, I want to see the whole shoe. Uh, unfortunately, this model is wearing sweats covering up the top of the shoe and he's clearly modeling the shoe, which is let me say how I feel it. It's stupid. It's stupid. Don't model a shoe that nobody has ever seen before with your pants covering up the top of the shoe. It's counterproductive, mm-hmm. bro. <laughs> but it looks real. Uh, we gonna see more pictures soon, hopefully. I want these. I'm not a super fan of the, the material switch up with the mm-hmm. stitching instead of the layers on the uh, on the ribs. Because, the I mean, the, the feature, the best f- two features of the Air Max 95 are the ribs and the air bubbles. Mm-hmm. So they changed the ribs. People have done it before, but not like this. They, they did, they went for like a premium look, premium vibe with the, with the way they switched up the ribs with the stitching. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm on my ear on the toe. Suede, which this this model has clearly already got dirty. You can see it on the pictures. <laughs> um, if I get these, which I'm 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 going to try for them. Ain't no, I was about to say probably. I'm I'm trying to get these. Um, yeah, and I might have to go with the protection spray on these. I don't normally do protection spray, but a suede toe box. On an Air Max yeah. 95, a white or gray sail or whatever color this is. Nah, bro. You got to protect that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What you, I, what you, I, how I, you feel about probably, it? I, 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 you know what? Amma Munir loves its um, very earthy full colorways. You see that, like they, they, mm-hmm. they've done it with a lot of, of this sneakers, and I love that. I do love that. It, it's a clean, clean colorway, bro. Clean colorway. You know what? Um, I'm on my ear is like the Stone Island of the US. Oh, okay. That's that's a good take. That's a very good take. I, I agree with that. But yeah, um, I love. I like them. I, I think they're super dope. Super super dope sneaker. Uh, a lot of Air Max guys are gonna love that sneaker. I'd love to. I would love to see this in hand. I'd love to see you rock them as well. Um, but yeah, uh, dope dope release. Uh, and just for me, thought like, bro, we, we, there's rumors of an and your Jordan Three coming out as well this year. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna see it. Yes, we're gonna see it. We definitely gonna if see the it. The rumors true. Um, we're gonna see it. We just gotta wait on it, dog. Like we yeah. we are good at this. We have become. Do you do you notice how well we have become at playing the waiting game? with the information yeah. that we get. Yeah. I can remember early in the part, bro, we used to be so excited and so gassed up. We were reckless, now, bro. We, yeah. were, we, were giving, we were shouting out shots every time. Like, yo, that's coming out, that's coming out, that's coming out. We were reckless, bro. Yo, and we were speculating on mock-ups and we were getting annoyed at mock-ups, bro. So. That's, why we, that's why we ended up switching it up because we were doing too much of that and we, we fixed ourselves. You know, what I'm saying? I don't even think we really had too much conversation about it either behind the scenes. No, but no, no, um, no. I, th- I think it, I think it was a natural thing because we kind of got fed up of all the scene, all of the foolish foolishness of uh, fo- sneaker foolishness that we were uh, seeing. So we was like, you know what, like let, let's just be patient. And you know what, you know how. You, like like I always says, we like sneakerheads sometimes are like like a fat kid in a cake factory. You just want every cake. You want to eat everything. You want to eat it before it's been baked. And all of a sudden, you're like, mm, it's, it's you know what? This this don't taste that great. It looked like it was gonna be good, but it don't taste that great. Sometimes you just gotta wait for the final product. And even when you, when you got the final product and when you taste it, it don't, if it don't taste good, it ain't gonna be good. So that that's why. I, I am reserving every judgment until I get sneaker in hand. When you told me, when somebody told me, like even last year, when somebody told me, what's your sneaker of the year? I said, I like this, this and this, but I want to see. And I was waiting for my Amman Year Jordan 5s as well. I was like, let me see it in hand. Like so somebody, was like, somebody was like, is that Amman Year Jordan 5? A lot of people said to me, you, are you going to put Amman Year Jordan 5 as a sneaker of the year? I said, no, 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 no. Let me get it in hand. Let me get it in hand. Let me see it. Let me smell it. Let me, let me see how it looks on feet. That's, that's, that's my whole flex now. I want to see it in hand. I already knew what I was gonna do, but uh, <laughs> speak, speaking of not speaking of not tasting good, yeah, we are gonna stay on Amon Mayer. 
because <laughs> um, the release of the Amma Maya Jordan 5 is still happening <laughs> somehow. Are you serious? Are you um, serious? I mean, oh. you know, you know, you know, people that still ain't get their pairs, you know, people that got counsel and they still trying to explain it, which I think is the reason why we starting to see these leaks. Yeah. Because um, you, you... they, they, they got stuff coming and Nike going to push it out. But, um. And y'all know I love on my ear. They my favorite collaborator. Bro, this is trash. This customer service action update they they posted where they trying to explain the terrible release that was the Amma Maya Jordan 5 for a lot of people. I mean, mm-hmm. shout out to everybody that was able to cop and finally got pairs and some people but some people still waiting on pairs. A lot of people mad having to pay resale, having to uh take a different route. Some people got uh, multiple pairs and and they out here looking stupid because the resale tank because the, I feel like the community kind of uh, rebelled against I'm on my a little bit and yeah. uh, it's not looking good. I don't know. I don't know what the fours and Maxes are going to do as a result of this. This is it. Look crazy, bro. It looked crazy. It don't sound good. They talking about uh, it was the when, holidays when, 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 and yeah, yeah, bro, bro, bro. Like I, I totally understand. Excuses. This, right? it's it's a, excuse. So, it sounds like so excuses. Let, let, let me, let me, let me. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not trying to cut you off, bro. Go, 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 go. Let me, go, let, please. Let me just, let me just say one thing with this whole situation. Um, I don't think a lot of people rebelled against Amma Manu because when the when the releases happened. It was after the releases that we saw the situation with uh, James Whitner, or just just be just after the dust, because a lot of people. So two weeks after the dust release, then we heard the situation with what was happening with Amma Manier, social status, with the situation with social status and James Whitner. I don't think a lot of people rebelled on that. What I what I really do think happened, right? Because I remember this vague. I remember this like it was yesterday. What I do believe what happened was when they opened up the airship internationally after the second or third time and they start people internationally started to pick up the sneaker that's when james whitner and social status and amma Munier thought you know what you know what we do we'll open up the releases for the dawn and dusk peers internationally because there's an audience outside the states that actually buy our peers right and, and that realization and opening up internationally and the, the i think amma Munier got like imagine you are the only retailer that's doing the dusk release Right, because that's the only retailer that got the dust release, right? And you and the dust release was the problem more or less than Dawns, even though the Dawns are still struggling. When they opened it up internationally, imagine the volume of people that went in and put that raffle in. Imagine the volume they had to sort out. Imagine the volume they had to get out internationally. That's the problem. They didn't realize that they if they opened it up internationally, how the volume the volume of the intakes, the volume of the raffles, the volume they have to get out internationally, the cost is going to get out to get, take internationally, the time duration it takes, and and, and marking mark with the holiday period, it was a mess, absolute mess. Um, Will they do releases for going forwards internationally? It's only a matter of time. Let's go wait and see when these fours and these uh, 95s come out. It's going to be inter- interesting to see how they maneuver. Maybe they'll rectify that and just do it like US releases because they know it's a, it's an issue. But bro, like the, the Dawn's released in the end of November, the Dust released two weeks into December, like the 12th, I think. And we're still waiting a month and a bit after for these pairs. Uh, in the Dawn pairs like two months, bro. So if was, people and I think and I and I truly believe sorry I truly believe that the pressure that they got from people replying and constantly on their posts and the fact they're saying oh you cancelled my orders what you cancelled my raffles this was a guaranteed raffle blah 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 I truly believe they are actually starting trying to sort those situations out because like some people ain't even got refunds bro it's it's the um it was the seventeenth and the twenty fourth. Yeah, that's the one. Sorry, yeah, seventeenth and the twenty twenty fourth of November, seventeenth of right. December. No, no, yeah. no, 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 no. Oh, the other way. Both, Sorry, so both November. Ways. Both November, seventeenth. Oh, November, I, why did I think it was December? November. 
sorry, I got mine on my I got my MM and you dust on the twelfth of December. That's why I saw it. So you yeah, got yeah, them late. Yeah, 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 you got yeah, them really late. Yeah. But I said that before the release, their their shipping time is notoriously long. Like yeah, I waited a yeah. month. Um, uh, yeah, I waited a month, a, a little over a month. I think I th- I th- it was no, nah, it was like 20, 27, 28 days for my um, my year ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The um, twos came bro. fast. The fours came fast. Yeah, but the ones and these fives. I, actually, I waited like a week and a half for the dons. They came pretty quick, but um, the dust it took like three weeks, I think. You, you you know what like let me let me let me put it down to you bro like i'm gonna I tell you in, story. i hit in store too so and i i know it was, it was good to, it, was, it was beautiful when, like you bro you, with the mm news you always caught like which is a touch with you keep doing that but you always you always caught which is absolutely amazing not the um, twelves. but not I miss both twelves. But hopefully, hopefully you copped in, in future releases. But let, bro, let me tell you right, like you know what, I love the bro Scott, right? But um I, I was I was sitting there like during during the dawn and dust release and when, when we copped and we was all like, Yeah, we cop, we cop every day or every other day, Scott was like, I'm not getting this pair. So what do you mean, bro? Like I can sense it, I'm not getting this pair, I'm not getting the pair. Like, what do you mean? Like, oh they they, they shipped it two weeks, one week, two weeks, three weeks. I said, Bro, it happened to my airships, don't worry. Bro, and he goes, I've even all the t shirts they they dropped, they kind of shipped them. Said, don't worry, don't worry. And then all of a sudden, like three months, three weeks later, not I say hey, three months, it's not <laughs> accurate. But three, 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 three weeks later, three weeks later, shipped. The shipping order, ship, ship, like FedEx, FedEx notification, your your pair's been shipped. And then shortly after that, it was like cancellation 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 and we was like yo <laughs> hopefully our, lo- our pairs don't get cancelled or lost in fedex bro <laughs> i'm saying i want my pairs <laughs> you, that would you know what um you know how you're watching a football match or a, a nba match and you're at your you're at the edge of your seat that was that situation when that's the release we was all at the edge of our seat are we gonna are we gonna score are we gonna get them are they gonna get delivered are we gonna get them in hand that was the situation bro it was like a end to end battle to get these doors Pierce, bro, and these dust pairs. <laughs> Yo, uh, guys, if you haven't got your dawn of dust pairs at the moment, I feel sorry for you guys. But hopefully, it doesn't tar the release. Even if you get the pairs in hand about a couple of months later, because you still got the pairs. Uh, you so, uh, talk that, yo, bro. Let's not talk because uh, sometimes, sometimes people get rid of sneakers because of bad, bad situations. And I hope you guys have um, don't get rid of these pairs. <laughs> oh, bro, I think I think they. They're losing their grip a little bit. They, they, yeah, they're losing their grip. Nike still, obviously, still rocking with them, but we're gonna see, man. Yeah, I, I, I do hope that. Um, well, I do hope they get that in order if they're gonna do it globally. I, I, I can see them not doing a global release. Um, this year they gotta, uh, they gotta drop the ninety fives over there. They have to. No, no, they'll, they'll do. They'll drop the ninety fives you know over here. You know but what? I, you know I don't what? think they shouldn't. But... They shouldn't drop the ninety fives. <laughs> talking about bro <laughs> nah nah as yeah. hard as it be to get a pair of Cortez 95 nah y'all don't need them oh bro that's that's a good that's gonna be a good question what's better the Cortez or the or the uh, what you call it the Amman Manier 95 so it's gonna be a really good question really good question we'll see <laughs> We'll see. All right, moving on next quick strap bro <laughs> what you got next uh, cut the checks. Okay, cut the checks. So basically, um, this week we've got two very uh, two variations of cut the check sneakers, um, and these these were basically I think they're more reliable first looks because obviously the person that posted them is more reliable person that actually gets early pairs. So we know that these are going to be uh, a cut the check sneaker that's going to come out. So the first variation is the sale mocha, which we've we've seen already, which is the gum gum outsole, sailed swoosh and mocha undertones with the sole upper looks up looks at absolutely fresh uh i think uh, look bro look at the toe look at the toe area look at a mm-hmm. crinkle on that lever looks dope yeah looks very really, premium really stupid i know <laughs> it looks like i'm uh, you know what i could use a very explicit word i'm not going to but it looks like that trust me wrinkly the gum, fresh the gum is uh translucent too 
Yes, very, very nice. Um, the second variation is this one, bro. It is uh, this to call the university red mocha because basically the red swoosh is different to the cell swoosh and the outsole is cell rather than gum. It, both of these variations are dope, but both of the levers on these look absolutely dope. Like I'm talking wrinkled to perfection, bro. Very, very wrinkled. I like the mocha better than this uh, university. Be, is it because of the gum outsole, yeah? Yeah, but yeah, I don't know. I, I, I don't feel know. you in that. I might, I might wait. I'm going to try for the mochas. I'm going to try, try for the mochas. I'm gonna say one thing, right? Like there's a there's a caveat to this, which is quite funny, right? And if you if you didn't know this already, you 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 need to know this. That jack on the outsole, apparently, what, what somebody said or what what was told on the caveat on the post was, or by Nike and by Travis Scott, is that jack will disappear after a few years because it's just printed, and um, which is a bit disappointing. But it is what it is because they obviously, when you walk, that, man. I know. I, and I, that, that my instant thought was you could have molded that all the way through to the actual uppers, like basically have that molded all the way through. So when you wear it, it's still got that jack. But it's, it is bro, what it is, bro. Think about the Jordan Ten. Yeah, think about it. I know. So it, they got all his accolades up until that point etched into the bottom of the shoe, bro. If yeah. y'all can do that, y'all could have put that name, that man name on the bottom of that shoe where where it would stay. Yep. Like y'all know y'all know how to do uh multiple colors of rubber on the bottom of a shoe. I, that's lazy, bro. And this this Travis Scott first signature sneaker, bro. Y'all can't be lazy. With, oh my god, bro. That's that's bad. It is that's what bad. it is, bro. It is what it is. It is. But, it um, is what it is, but that's bad. I can see a lot of people wearing um, what you call those a shoe protectors, that outsole shoe protectors that actually make sure they walk on it and they actually kind of see, keep, keep that jack. I think the, the the best bit of the outsole, even though the outsole looks a bit, the traction on it is really weird. It's more like a rock face mud traction, which is mm-hmm. a bit weird. But it is a flex, it's a more of a flex sneaker. Don't wear it in the cold, don't wear it in the snow because you are going to fall over. But um, the, the jack is the best bit about the outsole as well. I think it's dope, very dope. You probably want people to skate it. You reckon? Yeah, look like a skate yeah. shoe. Yeah, it's dope. It's it's very, it's, it's dope. Like I, I, this is the first two variations. I heard there's gonna be another two. Um, I've, I'm I'm waiting to see what the other twos are. We've seen five, six, seven mock ups. I, uh, I do think there's gonna be a yellow variation coming up just to go with that Jordan One low. We're gonna get as well. I do believe there's gonna be a yellow variation. It's gonna be interesting to see. Um, but yeah. Um, do you like them, bro? What's your thoughts? I like the mochas. I do want to see them on feet. They look a little weird. uh, They still tight like that. Yeah. But Travis, um, they they always look good on Travis, so... Yeah, that's why one thing I don't understand with with the actual brands when they actually lace them up real tight and leave them in the box. Just just loosen the laces. Don't put the laces on. Do what you do with the Jordan 1. Don't lace them. Mm, That's a good idea. Yeah, because, like, people relace their sneakers anyway, so... You don't need to lace your sneakers unless it's yeah, a, unless it's the seven. People gonna be throwing pink and red laces in yeah, these yeah. as soon as they get. Yo, bro, the, as long as it's not a Jordan six or a seven, which is so, or even an eight, which is so hard to lace up. Yeah, you're yeah. fine. Yeah, you're fine. Yeah. Don't lace. Just, just even a three or a four. Just don't lace it. You you we will just retire anyway. Yeah, it all sneakers do that. Yeah, that's oh, one thing. Majority. That's one thing they can do to uh, cut some costs too. There's less hours. Yeah, yeah, people exactly. lace up shoes. <laughs> yeah, cut the check. Watch out for that. I think that's going to, hopefully, um, if we're going to, I do do believe spring, summer is going to be the first variation and fall time is when we see the different variation. Um, so it's going to be interesting. Obviously, we we, have, we don't know what's going to happen with the, tr- well, we know there's two Jordan 1 lows coming. The yellow variation or the Canary yellows is probably going to come in spring, summertime. And these two variations are probably going to come spring, summertime. Then we're going to see the rest uh, leak out in full time. I think they're going to separate their two releases. It'll be interesting to see what they do with that. But yeah, cut the check, sneaker, bro. Let's see what happens. Uh, what's, your, what's your estimates on that in terms of what do you really think is going to happen to that sneaker when it actually drops? Is it going to do an Air Max 1? Is it going to do a Trainer 1? Is it going to do a Jordan 1? 
what's your this, this spectrum because obviously we we see we when we see the release spectrum jordan tried to train once is low because it doesn't do didn't do well air max ones did reasonably well and then you got the obviously the jordan ones which absolutely escalated and it goes sky high through the roof so what's your what where'd you sit that probably somewhere closer to the air max one. Oh yeah yeah I, I can see that. So it's, it's it, it, I don't think it if it if it doesn't do as well as the Air Max one, it it won't do as bad as the trainer one. I don't think. Yeah, the, tra- the trainer one, even though I love it, the trainer one is very specialized in terms of you have to really love trainer ones to get that Travis trainer one. Yeah. Yeah. It's but not yeah, a hype it's shoe. Just, no, it, like bro, you you said this on offline off the podcast, and sorry to bring this up, but you said that some and you said it at the start of this podcast. There's some sneakers that aren't really sneakerhead sneakers, and like they specialized sneakers and trainer ones. So I would put that like you said in off off this. I would put that in there. Um, so yeah. yeah, let's let's see what happens. Uh, for his first uh, first signature sneaker. So let's see what happens with that. Shout out to Travis for that as well. But um. Yeah, we're gonna get into some nitty gritty now. Yo, bro, yo, bro. Our idols have uh, dropped in our speculation at the moment, bro. Our idols have dropped from my, uh, from my uh, top of that stool that you know we put put on the pedestal. <sighs> did you ever? Did you ever suspect that PJ Tucker, PJ, the sneaker god Tucker, would be wearing fakes? No. All right. This is allegedly, allegedly, right? And I did some research on this. This is allegedly PJ Tucker was wearing a pair of customized, they're not released, the custom Kobe off whites. And the person who actually originally did the custom is called Mamba Customs, right? And he saw PJ Tucker wear these. And he said, yo, PJ, get the real stuff from me directly next time. <laughs> right, bro. Imagine that he just said, I made a design. Chinese factory stole and produced reps of these without my, me knowing. And somebody sold PJ Tucker my customs that weren't directly from me. So in reality, what he's claiming and alleg- allegedly is that PJ Tucker wore a fake pair of Chinese factory customs that he originally designed and somebody sold him that and they're fake. That's the allegations that's been thrown to PJ Tucker this week, bro. Imagine that being caught, being caught and the original designer coming out and saying that to you, bro. So what's your thoughts on that, bro? Hold on, let me see what uh scroll down to Mamba Concepts um comment on the post. Okay. First off, I'm happy PJ Tucker wrote, wrote my design. No, 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 no. Yeah. You ain't gotta read it. Okay. I'm trying to read yeah. it. <laughs> um yeah. I, that's that's a bull accusation. Yep. I don't respect that accusation. First of all. Um I understand him being pissed off if he feels like the shoe. First, it's not a rep. It's a custom. Yep. Yeah, yeah. You ain't the only customizer in the world. What what, what he's saying. Or so it's what he's no, saying. No, no, no. You, you, said, you said what he's saying. I'm saying yeah, what I'm yeah. saying. He's, he's accusing PJ Tucker of wearing a rep. That was made in a UA factory in China. Yeah. How does he know that? This is PJ Tucker. No, no, no. This PJ Tucker we talking about. PJ Tucker is an NBA player known as the king of sneakers of the NBA. He been doing this his whole career because he's wearing a, a custom of a shoe that you did first don't mean it's a rep. It's a UA. Right. So I'm, 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 I'm just, I'm, let me, let me just read this comment. So let me, let me kind of, for the audio. Why? Why? No, 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 no. We, no, no, no. Because, because, we give them comments. Because it, goes in, 
we, it's going it's going into that same argument because I think uh, Mamba Customs actually did the research. He goes first off, first off, I'm happy for you to talk a rock my design because he's claiming that he, it's his design that he manufactures. So just bear with me. Um, I was clarifying for people who weren't that were thinking that I made them. When the truth is, it's not me that made them. It's a factory replica from China based off my pair I, I created last year. So many people are, are mad thinking I'm trying to take credit for the design of the Kobe silhouette or even the off-white branding. I'm not that, he said, basically, it's not that stupid. I'm not brazen, blah, blah, blah. Um, but basically, some people responded back to that and said, uh, people just jealous they're always trying to spread hate, blah, blah, blah. That, 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 that's what he said. Some people are saying. And basically, he said, he, uh, somebody actually did say, like, you said q highly highly doubt it was a factory made sneaker i'm pretty sure it was designed and copied by somebody else which probably is more what the most likely situation is bro, but basically bro. what he's claiming what he's claiming just just to end it there's something simple called research uh he basically said he's found it on google he knows exactly what factory made it exactly who sold it blah 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 that's that's what he's claiming and it's a bold claim definitely a bold claim bro definitely a bold claim but he's he's out with it. He's, he's sent, sent it to the to, to what you call it, the social atmosphere, and he's left it there. He's saying somebody stole his design and gave PJ Tucker a, a fair pay, fair a fake pair of his designs. That's what he's claiming. I don't know why you felt the need to read somebody else saying exactly what I just said. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm just saying, uh, but, but bro, just, um, add into the, add into your conversation. You don't have to, I don't, I don't need that. These are my thoughts. I'm not, I don't care about how nobody else feel about this. This is cap. I think it's cap. Are you okay. agreeing with him? Do you do you think it's a rep? No, there's there's too much um, unknowns to actually say it's a it's a rep or nothing. It's a, PJ Tucker ain't ain't dumb to actually go and buy his, a pair of sneakers like he doesn't know where they came from. So what if he did? Yeah, has he responded? No, not at the moment. He's too he's too big to respond to that. He's too big to respond to that. I just googled Kobe off white. You want to see what the results are? Go on, bro. It's a bunch of videos and a bunch of websites that's got custom Kobe off-whites. $135. You can get that same shoe. Sure. That don't mean that's where P.J. Tucker got it from. It's P.J. Tucker we talking to. Come on, bro. Mm -hmm. Come on, bro. I don't... I don't... <laughs> I'm not finna question PJ Tucker's sneaker credibility because he got a, a custom that the the original maker is questioning because he butt hurt because PJ Tucker didn't get it from him. And he missed the opportunity to probably overcharge PJ Tucker for a custom that he would charge less of anybody else because PJ Tucker is an NBA player. Come on, dog. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think I think there's something behind uh, both. I think both are true and not true at the same time. If you, if you got what I mean, the famous saying you always keep saying. Like, but basically, this is what the sneaker is. This is 47 weeks ago, which is last year, and this is what he claims to be a copy of. Um, so basically, that that's what he's claiming. Um, but um, yeah, it's interesting. It's very interesting to boldly claim out a NBA player that's probably got more um, notoriety. And, and I do feel I do feel it's a bit of a cap as well because basically. You know, bro, there's a lot of people that make make different variations, different concepts, and there's a lot of people that put designs together. Uh, maybe maybe PJ Tucker saw some some customizer and bought it from there, and he hasn't even said anything, resp responded back to that. Maybe you will respond back to that and say, I actually got it from here, and this is the customizer I used. Um, but it, it, it's... Uh, it's a, it's the same thing, a claim for intellectual property. But it, can you really claim for intellectual property when you're basing yeah. it on these... One on a sneaker like an off white or a Kobe. That that that's you're taking from my design anyway. Well, so what what are we talking about? Like, come on, bro. You you're not the only person on the planet that you wasn't the first person to do an off white custom of anything. No, nah, no, nah, nah. They've been doing off white people have been doing off white customs since the ten dropped. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, come on, bro. I'm, I'm, like I'm, I'm like you you there's a better way to chase clout behind this than to yeah. accuse PJ Tucker of wearing fakes. Like, yeah. <laughs> come on. I, 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 I think, I think I'm leaning towards what you're saying. The man, it's, the man got a, the man owns a, a sneaker store. 
yeah. that got this it's, sneaker. It's a missed opportunity for him because he thought like if he'd shouted out, PJ Tucker would have come straight to him to actually get the get his content. But I think somebody, I think somebody bro, made it for PJ Tucker. Bro, PJ Tucker got a pair f- from a different customizer. Let me make him a pair that's better than that in a different colorway yeah. or whatever. You know, yeah. like come to, be creative, bro. Don't just jump out the window talking about somebody. <laughs> <laughs> that's the wrong way to chase clout, bro. Yeah, yeah. It, 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 there, uh, there are there are good ways of chasing clout. You know what we call it? PR. Yeah, yeah. Maybe this is PR for him because that's the only way he's going to get it recognized for it is something PR, that. But when it yeah. when it's bad PR, we call it clout chasing. <laughs> <laughs> very, very true. Very true. Very, you know what very true. <laughs> I, don't, I don't like this, bro. This that's nasty business to me. Yeah, yeah, very, very, very nasty business. But like, I always, I, the credibility is going to be with PJ Tucker. He's such a big sneakerhead that like I can't imagine that he's got a fake pair of sneakers in his rotation. But when we when we do talk about stuff like this, we always say, you know what? Um, you you question somebody's credibility when they do rock a pair of fake pair of fakes, and when they actually start reviewing fakes, but. I think PJ Tucker's got enough money and enough credibility and enough style to never, never, never go near a pair of UAs. That you can't touch. Hey, you know what the one yeah. is, right? <laughs> What's the one? A fair picks. <laughs> <laughs> That's the one. Yeah, we. <laughs> That's the one. <laughs> write it down bro write it down <laughs> write it down bro <laughs> that's what I'm saying um, but yeah but ba- right you sprung that on me randomly bro <laughs> what's your hold quick, on for a second your... just, just, just give me a quick second give me a quick second please right please learn how to clout chase properly <laughs> Don't jump out the window feet first with no shoes on. First of all, you're going to cut your feet on the window on the way out. So you're not going to land properly. You're going to land on your head and you're going to look like a damn fool. <laughs> That's the bottom line because Stone Cold sets up. I always love you. I'll always love you. Tip of the week, bro. It's so, so funny. <laughs> Yo, uh, talk, you know what? You, only way you're going to survive jumping out the window if you've got sugar gloss. If you ain't got sugar gloss, you're getting cut. <laughs> bro. I'm talking about Hitler. He ain't open the window before he jumped out. He's going to smash you know through the fact- glass. He's going to smash through the glass with, he probably got UAs. That's why he's mad. <laughs> <laughs> he gonna, he gonna, he trying to smash through he trying to jump through the window feet first with some fake Kobe's on glass went straight through the bottom of that artificial uh, rubber and yeah. he landed on he, he managed to lay on his feet which just drove the glass further into his foot and then he killed over and busted his head and now he on the ground trying to hold his head and his feet at the same time yeah, yeah. I, I, I can. You know what? I, I, I truly believe, right? He because he got looked over for for his mm-hmm. Kobe sneakers that he was absolutely hurt by. It. He's like, why, why did he not come to me? Because I've already got the design a year ago. But he, but the thing is, you don't like the thing with social media. Is you don't know what other people are doing. Like you know, what it's it could be. If uh, you're it could be a coincidence that somebody's done the same design as you, and thought the same idea as you, and did it before you. And then you showed it before, like, bro. It could be a lot of situations. I love to, to like, and to be honest, to come out on social media and out PJ Tucker, that's brave. That's at brave, the end of the, bro. At the, at the end of the day, him and him feelings. That could be the one for this week, bro. <laughs> him, him hurt his widow feelings. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that, man. PJ Tucker, oh man! Find some else to <laughs> All do, right, cool. Man. All right, let's go. Let's go on to the next quick strike, bro. Uh, you had something else as well, didn't you? 
No, it was um <laughs> oh, clout. Clout is a hell of a drug. Uh, yeah, I know. Why is Shaq trying to uh, court Devin Booker <laughs> 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 away from Nike through Joe and Reebok? Because he's building an empire, bro. Because he's building is empire building. It's, it's a common a common phrase in business. Empire building is when you start recruiting all the best athletes, all the best talent, and actually start building an empire to actually take over. And Shaq still, bro. We see. We talked about it this last week. We talked about it last week. Shaq, Shaq's going to do what Shaq does best. He's going to get the best talent. He's just he, he's just signed Toby, right? Um, mm-hmm. Now he's looking for athletes, bro. Trust me, I, bro. We said it. We said it last year. Give it two to three years. Reebok will be a different beast, bro. Reebok's a different beast in a couple of years. This ain't gonna work, bro. Uh, oh, uh, yo, yo, this is this this is not gonna work. This is not gonna work. It's this is this is just this is just. Off the back of what something sort of something that happened last week. Yeah, Shaq. Shaq. Well, uh, I was about to say is one of the biggest trolls. Just so happened he's one of the biggest people uh, in the public eye, but he's also one of the biggest trolls in the public eye. He does Shaq and the Fool, which is basically a video trolling segment <laughs> of NBA players. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like he know this ain't gonna work. But yeah. why not, right? Throw it out there. What if it do? We don't know. But we know why he felt like saying this. And yeah. that's the problem. That's the problem. Um, you know what? Let's 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 do what we came to do. No, no, no. I, I got I got one. I got one Go more ahead. article. One more article. Right. So we, we're going to carry this on, but there's one little thing I wanted to mention, like, before we go into what okay, we do okay, best, okay, right? Okay. right. <laughs> so let, let, me, let me just take this to another... Uh, well, it's all quick strikes this week, but let me take this to another quick strike, right? Because, um, yo, bro, uh, you know you know we... There was a there was this great thing. There was a there was a grime artist this week that went to uh because we're having Paris Fashion Week next week, right? There's another there's some fashion weeks leading up to that, and um like little little fashion designers are putting out stuff. Like Tion as uh, Tion Wayne is basically a grime artist, and um he was laughing at some of the stuff that was coming out. I sent you a couple of things that, that you were like, "What the hell, bro? What the hell?" Um, but basically, T T uh, he went he went to a show show. And he was sitting in front and he kept looking at these models coming out and he almost burst out laughing. I'm talking, he could see the smirk going, getting bigger and bigger and bigger. He's like, he's like, what foolishness is this? And when we talk about foolishness, what foolishness is this, bro? That is a Prada paperclip. What do you think? How much do you think that costs? Thousand. You know what? I wouldn't blame you if you thought that. <laughs> that is is not thousand. Luckily enough, it's three hundred and seventy euros. It's a mean, money lucky? clip. <laughs> it's a lucky money for clip. Who? Lucky for people that want to get it. It's not thousand pounds. <laughs> it's three hundred seventy euros. Lucky. It's three hundred seventy euros for a little tiny paper clip to clip up your money. It's called a it's called a money clip. And they designed this. This money clip needs a money it's, clip, bro. It can't be tiny if it's a money clip. It's probably not tiny. It, it's, it's, it's probably going to be like a, a large paper clip, right? And it, it is a money clip. Basically, it's designed for a money clip. 370 it's euros. Gonna be, but it's going to be the size God. of a normal money clip, probably. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I don't think it is. I, I think it's like a regular small or like regular large paper clip, but they claimed it to be a money clip rather than a, than, no. than a clip clip, bro. That's, like that's it, it, I've, I've I've seen I've seen it in somebody's hand. It is like a large paper clip. It's not a, it's not like a money clip, is, bro. T- I mean, that is the dumbest. <laughs> is this dumber? Is this dumber than the shoelace earrings? Yeah, yeah, pretty much, bro. But forget about that. Forget about that. I I went down the I went down the rabbit hole, right? Look at this, sterling tie clip with stone hard stone, right? 
They're gonna price. A tie No. A thousand pounds. No. A thousand pounds, bro. <laughs> no. No. Who is <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yo, and you, when you thought, when you thought, when you actually thought proud of like, bro, look at this. I had, um, but I, I, um, I just added it to the basket. I don't want to add that to the basket, bro. <laughs> no, you want hair clip? Uh, no, 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 a metal hair clip. You know the hair clips. My girlfriend puts hair clips on her head. That's it, bro. Three hundred and ninety pounds for a metal Prada hair clip, bro. That's ridiculous. And you know what? It's giving other brands. The the courage, this I've never heard of this company. Carl Obuk, one hundred ninety five pounds for a brass oversized paperclip. I'm done, bro. I'm really done with high end fashion. Really, you am, know, bro. You know what they're doing, though, bro. <laughs> don't you? <laughs> What's that, bro? <laughs> I, I tell you what they're doing. They're doing the same thing they always do. They biting. They biting streetwear. <laughs> That's what they doing. They biting the urban culture because who does this that we receive it from, that we love it from, that we buy Cumber. everything from? It's a little company with a triangular red logo with a word in the middle that can do anything under the sun and we'll buy it. That company, ladies and gentlemen, is called Supreme. <laughs> Supreme Very true. is the only company that this culture will tolerate this type of foolishness from. And it is foolishness. You know what? Yep. Mischief. Yep. We will tolerate this type of foolishness from mischief. But guess what? Supreme ain't finna charge you that much. Mischief ain't finna charge you that much. They gonna charge you some reasonable prices. It's gonna be very, very difficult to get. Borderline impossible depending on what you're talking about. However, when Supreme does these things, they make it accessible to everyone. This high fashion foolishness, them trying to bite Supreme, trying to sell you a gym clip for $300, $400, yeah, I feel sorry for you. Go ahead. It's going to be available, too. It's a, I promise you, it's going to be a lot easier to get than anything Supreme is dropping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, very yeah, I have at it. Yeah, very, very true. Like, I'm I'm, I'm surprised, like, they, they actually had the, what more, the Supreme, oh, um, Prada actually had the... the audacity. That, like, the gall. Audacity, yeah. The yeah. unmitigated um, gall. Get, get, well, bro, guess what? You know what? I, after after that Reebok uh, Mischief uh, that released uh, last year, I actually put a newsletter out on Mischief to actually see whenever they drop anything. They dropped cologne this week, bro. They dropped they dropped like a, a, a nice like two bottles of cologne. It's, 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 it's quite interesting to see. They don't just do sneakers, but um, bro, just on on that, bro, I can't believe that. I really can't believe that three hundred and seventy oh, euros. Three hundred and seventy euros for paper clip. It's pa- bro, it's par for the course. Yeah. Is it not? But yeah, of course it is. <laughs> well, bro, we could we yeah, this yo well, this is the same as GQ coming out with some expert advice. Your your ex your ex yo bro, that that's expert advice for the high fashion guys. That you know what? I, I I'm pretty I reflected on that whole conversation last week when I was editing the clips and I was like, you know what? We ridicule it as sneakers, but that's not for us. That GQ advice, even though they talk about sneakers, is not for us. Yeah. That That is for, I'm going to say this with real conviction, and uh, it's going to hurt a lot of people. That's for those high-end buyers that have no brain cells, but to be sheep to the commercial machine. And that's what it is, bro. Mm. Like, you, you know what you know what it is? I can see a, a, re, a millionaire or billionaire... Rocking loads of these paper clips and say, "Yo, I got some Prada paper clips," and s- sipping some Cavossi or some some Remy Martin in from a glass container. Sip it like open up, open up his cigar box, looking at his stocks. Yo, bro, that's that's who that's who it's for. That's who it's for. Cause they ain't no, yeah. they ain't got no, they ain't got no other. You know what? Money, when money ain't an object, you start buying some really, really stupid things. Just like. 
this uh, th- thousand there sitting before y'all that's going to spend <laughs> a, a lot of his disposable income on vapes and uh, reasonably priced alcoholic beverages <laughs> and uh, <laughs> reasonably priced thousand for, 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 thousand there. I like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Re- reason, reasonably reasonably pli- priced uh, clothing and expensive gym shoes. <laughs> 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 right now you can carry on and say what you was gonna say before. Sorry to cut you off with that. I needed to cover right, that part right. of the story. All right, we mad again. Let's get mad again. <laughs> <laughs> that mad face. When resale is too high. Damn resellers. Hold on, hold on. When hype beats go too far. These damn hype beats. Hold on, hold on in the court. Hold on. The back door opens. Guilty. It's time for Order in the court The sneaker court of public opinion Guilty! Welcome back to Sneaker Court Public Opinion with me, Judge Public Opinion and Executioner And today, today some people been very, very naughty this week. There's three court cases this week. <laughs> trash. So much trash. And you know what? There could have been five. Because we could have taken the t- PJ Tucker story and Prada to court. But we thought, you, you know, know what? what? You, know what? you know what? You know what? You know what? Hey, 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 hey. Hold on. Open his shirts. Two open his shirts. Uh, <laughs> what's his name? Whatever his name is. Con- Kobe Mama Concepts. Con- Mama, Mama Concepts. Con- Guilty. <laughs> Guilty. Guilty. <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, Prada trying to sell us uh, gym clips uh, and 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 uh, thousand dollar tie tags and Biden Supreme most of all. Guilty. <laughs> I like the way that was called. Yeah. <laughs> Too great. Yeah. So we have got five cases this week. All right, cool. <laughs> so, so, so for number one, for number one case, right? So basically, um, I want to. I, I've got two cases and you got one. So we do. I'll do one. You do. Do you do? You do one, and then we'll do the other one at the, at the end. So first one is is uh, DPD. Uh, decided it was a good idea this week. Very good idea this week to actually replace their customer service with AI. And you know, I hate customer service. I hate customer service when it's robotic. So what they did was ended up putting AI to respond back to people's queries, right? And the AI was so rubbish to a point where people start to mock it to, to like, I'm talking mock it like crazy. I'm trying to pull this story up so you can actually read it. So people start to mock it like crazy, right? And what happened was somebody literally made the AI write a little poem to, to basically say how bad the delivery service was. And the AI, DPD AI actually ob- obliged them with a, with a poem. And it reads, there was one, there was once a chap, chatbot named dpd who was useless to providing help it could not track parcels or give information on delivery dates and it could not even tell you when the driver would arrive <laughs> dpd was a waste of time and the customer and the customer's worst nightmare it was so bad that people would rather call the depot directly <laughs> than deal with a useless chatbot this is a poem by the way bro no yeah, no one run. day dpd <laughs> don't rhyme but this is the AI poem of how bad DPD AI service is one yeah, day DPD was finally write sh- bad poems too I know <laughs> Do you, one, one day DPD finally shut down and everybody rejoiced finally they could get their help that they needed from, from a real person who knew what they were doing bro I hate phone customer service because it never directs you to a person that you want to talk to because when you talk to a person they understand and fulfill this assignment dpd in uk switched it up <laughs> and put if you don't know dpd it's a, it's a delivery service they switched it up and bought ai who didn't know better who was absolutely rubbish and it made a bad joke and wrote a poem that absolutely destroyed the customer service ai bro it's too funny bro. <laughs> i don't know bro uh, customer, you know what? Sometimes I know you want to save money, and you know AI is the 
big thing that's coming through and people want to use it and utilize it as much as possible. But when you have a unrefined brain that doesn't know better that absolutely would say anything it wants and they came out with this you need to shut that down real quick so on that bro <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> guilty um dpd take off that ai and get real people pay real people to do real jobs that's you what i'm what? saying <laughs> they need they need to holler at nike because the nike uh online customer service is always good that's probably the best customer service experience i didn't have from a retailer is uh the nike <laughs> experts online on yeah. the nike app yeah, 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 yeah. But that, 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 that killed me, but bro, I was, I was reading that this week and it absolutely, I was in stitches. The, the fact that they, the fact that they actually got, um, the goal to actually put an AI and somebody actually said, you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm annoyed, but I'm going to take the piss. I'm going to take the piss to the point where I'm going to basically make the AI, AI do a joke. And then I'm going to basically make the AI write a poem about how, how crap the service is. And the AI obliged, bro. It was like, yes, sir. What can I do for you more, sir? Do you want me to kind of diss this company more for you, sir? That's basically what it was. Trash. <laughs> All right, next Rip, By the way, <laughs> rubbish and trash mean the same thing, but trash just yeah. sound harsher. So trash. Yeah. <laughs> trash, trash. N- next thing you can call, bro. It's, it's on you, bro. <laughs> oh, my God. So uh, we used to, we used to talk about the AI, not uh, AI, Shaq calling yep. out uh, Devin Booker, pretty much trying to recruit him. Yep. But uh, that's not the the part of the story I wanted to focus on. The part of the story that we're gonna focus on and that we're bringing to Sneaker Court today is the fact that Complex is being called out in this post by Nice Kicks and nice kicks yeah. hoops for instigating uh this situation by calling out Nike mm-hmm. for fumbling the book chapter 1 release so nice kicks is is taking this shot they call out complex it says when complex creates a fake narrative about you and Shaq is recruiting you to rebox <laughs> so uh, <laughs> Uh, and I and I did watch Complex's latest uh, broadcast, and it was a lot of hot takes. Hot takes about the bread uh, reimagined fours not being a good shoe. Um, hot takes about um, different releases. Uh, uh, Action Bronson's release um, being one of them. It, it was a, it was a bunch of stuff going on with Complex, so. Um, I think it, for the next couple of months, uh, 2024, Complex need to get off the high horse and get back to some grassroots reporting. Like We like to hear from them about leaks and information and doing interviews with designers and creators. And we don't need none of this beef that y'all stirring up, this, these hot takes and this, this, dare I call it, trash reporting. That's you, how I do you, it. Are, are, you, are you now saying that Complex were clout chasing, bro? Yeah. No. Are you saying, are, are, you, are you saying that it's uh, com, com, com clout? Are you saying it's com clout? Pause. <laughs> Pause. <laughs> Pause. Uh, <laughs> Right, what, what's your verdict, bro? Let's get, let's go on to that. <laughs> guilty. <laughs> Complex is guilty of stirring up beef between NBA players. Right, guilty and comp clout. Get off your high horse and make sure you go back to your ground roots. That's what I'm saying. That's what Q's saying. That's what I'm saying, and I'm there for it because sometimes a story doesn't need to be. be a story. I don't think the, dev, the, the like the books book one was released badly at all. It, it ain't really released yet. <laughs> yeah, exactly, bro. It went to all the, what, five, was it 500 pairs? It went to friends and families and the people. That yeah, wasn't even released, bro. At, at what are you Basel, talking about? Like, that wasn't no release. We knew that wasn't no, no release. Exactly. <laughs> Shots fired. <laughs> yeah. All right, cool. Last quick, last, last sneaker court. <laughs> it's, been a, it's been three. It's very, very interesting court cases. But... 
<laughs> but last court case for this week is uh, Adidas. You need to come to the front of the pile and explain yourselves. You really need to explain yourselves on this one because, guys, what is this? What is this? Mm. This is the Ultra Bruce Light shoe, a worn out pair of NMDs for £170. <laughs> Bro, somebody's picked them off the scrap heap and sold them. I ended up, I ended up throwing their sneakers in the heap and a skip and then like leaving them for a month and coming back to them and selling them because it looks like it is trash, bro. That needs a good wiping clean. I would have liked to see that if it was clean, bro. <laughs> Uh, what this, this the is hard. They, they 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 trying to justify this with putting uh color different color grades in the colorway like no bro i should put brown and uh <laughs> dust d- dusty should be dusty gray and dirty gray <laughs> and mud brown should be the colors in this colorway but what in the hell are they Yo, thinking you, with this? You know what? You know what? Like you, what one one sneaker that doesn't need the aged out look is the NMD. The NMD on Ultra Bruce doesn't need an aged out look. The materials ain't there for an aged out look. When you talk about Jordan One's looking aged out, reimagined looking, you know what? You try to jump on the bandwagon, and the bandwagon was gone, and you just hit the floor. Hit your, you slapped the floor with your face with this one. That's what it is. Because, oh, bro, who's going to wear this? Who's no, going to wear no, this? No, no. Bjorn told you he had something coming down the pipe. <laughs> Bjorn told you. Yo, you. You know what? You know what, bro? They would have dumped the diver they, they, no, 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 no. Yeah, they, they are, they are. They, they're the NMDs that the rele- that released that didn't sell out. They're the fruit in the heap. Then they thought, oh, we still got NMDs. We need to make we need to make some profit back. Let's bring them back. And all of, oh, they all look dusty and, and garbage looking. Yo, we still sell them. They, we they just look tell them it's, dusty it's and garbage out. anyway. You ain't got to make them dirty. <laughs> they already trash. Oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. NMDs and Ultra Boost had a good trash, run for bro. two years. They no, trash. They I, was trash then. <laughs> no, no, no. For all yeah. the guys who love Anandis and Ultra Boost, I have a couple, and I, they're comfortable. They're very you, you, you very they're trash. You, you, no, no, they're very comfortable. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna stick up for Anandis. I'm gonna stick up for Ultra Boost. I'm gonna stick up for all the user rate. They're very comfortable and they're very wearable. They're very, they're u- very, very weird looking. Universal. They're very universal. Yeah, very there was, nice a, there was a time. There, there was a time and period. Like, I'm arguing with you here. There's a time and period when they were actually the thing. And that time and period, <laughs> the went. thing that didn't look right when you put it on. <laughs> Shut up, bro. <laughs> Shut up, bro. Uh, but yeah, this is not it. This is definitely not it. I can, I can live. It wasn't it. Down. It's not it. It wasn't it. It will never be it. This, you, you know what? Oh, the, the only thing I'm that's sorry. missing, uh, the, the only thing that's missing from this sneaker is is dog shit on the outsole. That would <laughs> and pretty much. <laughs> Right, on that guys, no more, no more. I'm sticking up for Ultra Bruce because I, I do think they're great, right? But this is not it. This is not it. So on that word, guilty for selling some dumpster divers. Ah uh, man, we need some we need some restorers to actually come back and restore this sneaker to its former glory. Because this sneaker was not meant to come no, out this way, bro. Somebody somebody gonna buy it and clean it, what? <laughs> Please do it. Please do it. Please do it. Yeah, they, Yo, the video bro, might be on YouTube already. Yeah, bro, you know what would be really, you know what would be the best idea? They should have actually sold this for half the price because half a sneaker, half the, uh, it's just a V and D a sneaker, bro. It's a V and D a sneaker. You're selling a V and D. You know what? N- I Nike, need Nike, you know what? <laughs> Yo, bro, that's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. Because you know why? Because like for me, for me, they, they totally missed the ref- mm-hmm. Nike refurbishment thing. They totally missed the aged out thing. They thought, you know what? Let me let me do it to an NMD. Like I want to take this off the screen because they yo. <laughs> Give me your verdict, bro. Give me your verdict. I'm I'm done with this. This is so trash. Oh man. Uh Edison Chen need this colorway for, for, for the class. Stop it, bro. Stop it, bro. Stop it, bro. Just give the verdict to this and you can move on. That's the verdict. Edison Chen gets to have this colorway on, on the class superstars. Yeah, that's the verdict. Mm-hmm. Right, on that note. Sean with a spoon, on that too. Note, guys. Everybody's. Jared, pass it around. Damn it. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh man, we're trolling today. Uh, guilty. Um, all of you guys, all of you guys are guilty. DPD, Complex, or Comp Clout, and also Adidas, Boss. refurbishment plan. You're, you're, you're guilty. <laughs> what are you saying, for, bro? <laughs> Roll out the intro, bro. We're done. <laughs> <laughs> When resale is too high. Damn reseller. Hold on, hold on. When hype beats go too far. These damn hype beats. Order, order in the court, order. When the back door opens. Guilty. It's time for. Order in the court. The sneaker court of public Guilty. opinion. <laughs> well, what, what, what couple of court cases we had this week, bro? <laughs> you know what? You know what? Uh, I, th- I think people will be gunning for us this week. <laughs> Does it matter? No, we don't care. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to keep doing what we're doing. We're going to keep doing what we're doing. <laughs> all the time. Every week. You know what? This, this 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 is all allegedly an allegations. You can't do this for anything. <laughs> Yeah, every every single thing that we have said on this broadcast is alleged. We don't mean uh, no by, harm. By, by the way, no, nobody believe us anyway. Yeah. So, uh, and, and by the way, by the jokes. way, I'm going to say this: the uh, the guy in the screen over there, his name is Denzel Coppington. I'm Mister D- I'm I'm Mister Damas. So you can ca- you can catch us, but you won't catch us. Simple as that. <laughs> No um, name, no case. <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> what try. an episode, bro. <laughs> y'all can try all y'all want to. Okay. Yeah. You all won't right, cool. catch us. Uh, you can't hate on us. Yeah. And by the way, is... uh, my, my, my Instagram handle is hate, kick, hate kicks customs and, uh, Q, uh, and uh, Denzel Competence is uh, 902810. <laughs> no, no, hate on, hate on, hate on hate kicks. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, bro. Yo, bro. It's too funny. All right, uh, you man, know what? 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 You know what? I I thoroughly enjoyed this podcast, even though it wasn't programmed. But I thoroughly enjoyed this podcast. It was good. It is what it is, bro. Ah, man, it you know what? what you is. you know what the tragic thing is? I I I done all my sneaker. You know, I hate I hate sneaker news sometimes, right? Because um, this is my little rant. I done my sneaker news. Wrote all the stories. Friday night, recorded it Friday day, right? And re- wrote it Friday day, recorded it Friday night. And I thought, you know what? I got the whole of Saturday to chill with, with the missus. Bang, 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 bang. Like stories are coming out left, right and centre, bro. I was like, yo, why did I bother? <laughs> why did I bother? Because like, not, not only did the 95 story come out, not did the, not even did the James Whitner release that statement about, uh, you know, um, uh, Amma Manier, Jordan 5. Not only did Shaq try to court book, uh, you know, book, bro, there's a lot, there's a lot that came out. There's a lot that came out. I was like, you know what, I should have done a second variation. So th- this is why, this is why my 60 second sneaker news might be turning into a 120, 120 second sneaker news because it's too much hey, every week, bro. <laughs> you can put long videos on now. So. Yeah, yeah. What true, 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 true. We just, we but just, I do, I, I do it for YouTube because obviously YouTube don't allow uh, anything over yeah. a minute. So I'm like, yeah, break it down, yeah. and I rather yeah, do two yeah. because it's fun. It's fun. I rather do two. I, I, you know what? Sometimes I just put it out to the people. You know what? I might do two sneaker newses because there's so much news this week. But this is why we hear. This is why we talk about it because uh, it's Google, fun. Google need to free us, man. They need to free us from that sixty second prison on them shorts yeah. on YouTube. Come on, yeah, 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 free us. Free us from the 60 second shorts. Okay? <laughs> yeah, yeah. But uh, yo, there's, there's so much stuff that happens. And you know what? Like, every, like, I got to remind everybody, like, Joe, like, November, end of November, December time, January time, into February time, before All Star Weekend, there's always going to be all these rumors, all these speculations, all the, you know what? That's clout chasing season. Like, fr- December time and January time is clout chasing season. <laughs> In this nigga business, January through December, it's cloud chasing business. <laughs> Very true, bro. That's, Very that's, true. That's cloud chasing season for real. 
<laughs> yeah, man, I'm hungry though. I'm finna eat. I'm sick. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, chase, chase that nerves. magic. Chase that magic sneaker in it. <laughs> you know what? Right. I, just, on, I just want, I just want everybody to have a great day, great week, great yep. month, great year. Um, cop the Dion's so they can yep. make more, please. Yep, okay. yep, yep. Don't let the Dion's sit. We need all the Dion's to sell out so we can get all the Dion's. Okay. We want. Yep. Do that. Do that. Please do that. You're gonna get some Dion's too because they trainers and they highs. You're gonna get some. Yeah, yeah. I yeah, know yeah, you yeah, are. yeah, at least one yeah, bro, pair, just to try. Bro, you, yeah, 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 for sure, for sure, for sure. Like, um, one thing, one thing I've realized about myself over over picking up sneakers for the for however long it is like now, it must be like coming up to eight years now, more than that. Hold on, yeah, coming up to eight years now. Um, I realized as my transition as a sneaker guy, it's been uh, when I first started. I think I was like everybody else, pick up the pick up the like the new thing, pick up the most hi- not hyper thing, something that's like everybody, every other sneakerhead is associated to sneaker, being a sneakerhead. Now, reflect on it now at this moment in time. I just love design, a colorway, the material blocking. I, I look at a sneaker, not because, not based on, I, it brings more to this equation when it's all about history and all about and, and like the memorabilia and nostalgia. But uh, for me, the design has to do it. Like design has to be on point. And the colorways and the blocking, color blocking and the material blocking has to be on point. And, and you got me. You got me with the sneaker. I realize that more and more, the more I pick up sneakers. Bro, I can't believe you just stepped on the outro with a whole... Oh, sorry, sorry, bro. About... <laughs> <laughs> sorry, bro. I just reflected. I'm reflecting. <laughs> go on, go on, do the outro again. Sorry, sorry, bro. Sorry, outro. bro. <laughs> that is sorry, a... bro. Go oh, on. my God. Listen, man. <laughs> Buy what you like. Rock what you like. <laughs> Don't believe the hype because the hype ain't real. <laughs> and sneakers don't make you cool. You make the sneakers cool, guys. Peace out. Peace out, bro. Sorry, bro. Peace, <laughs> Peace out, guys. <laughs>